Check, check, one, two. Check, check, one, two. What's up, good people? Now, this may be too little, too late, because I just heard that Frame Pack has updated the software. Oh, well. I'm sure I'll update, but I'm definitely going to try to keep what I've created to use it. But I just wanted to show you what was possible. I certainly want to update. I will definitely try to make the same changes to the updated version. As long as the updated version works as well as this one. I don't know that it does. I know there are videos coming out now. People are talking about the new update. The changes that have been made. And that's cool. But I like the way this one's working. So as long as it works better, I'm good. If not, I'll stick with this. But anyway, this is a different version, same version, but uh, a different setup. Um, so what I did was I wanted to be able to do, sorry about the plane flying overhead. We live in the path of an airport. But what I wanted to do was I wanted to do batches. I wanted to do more than one. And for a lot of stuff that I do, the actions are somewhat similar. Or, you know, you can give it a generic prompt and the, as long as the images are similar, you can have them do the same thing. But what I was hating was, because it takes me about 45 minutes to an hour for one doing 10 seconds. And 10 seconds works fine for me. That gives me everything I need to do what I'm trying to do with this. So 10 seconds is fine, but it still takes about 45 minutes to an hour, which is cool. So, you know, I put one on, let it run. I go do some other stuff. I'm not stuck sitting on the computer. The issue is at night, if I want to get more done while I'm sleeping, I can't. So in the midst of getting six, seven hours of sleep, if I do at all, I'm only getting one download because let's face it if i'm sleeping good and i found that sweet spot i'm not getting up so what i wanted to do was do batch runs so i reconfigured this to do multiple images at once so how it works is uh, let's see let's start here right here this opens up the log folder which this is all the prompts that I've used and I got them named here. Get out of that. I guess I got it. We're about to go in there. And right here, this is the main prompt. So this one right here. So if I want to see them all, I click on that one. I want to go in and find one. I just want to see the latest ones I've done generally in that day. They'll be right here. You go right here, it opens up. And this is where any image that gets processed will show up in here. I have a batch files folder. So anything in the batch files folder, and I usually rename them to keep the name short. So image one, image two, image three. Anything in here will, will run as a batch. So that's what it is. And of course, I got the quick list right here, the quick prompts. So let's hit one of those. It already knows to go look in this folder. So anything in that folder, it goes ahead and it processes it. If I want to see what's going on, I just hit this. It'll show me the progress here. And that's pretty much it. But I just wanted to, to show you what's possible. So it is possible to do this. And I thought it was cool. And it's been helpful for me. You know, I got a good night's sleep. Didn't even have to worry about it. Got up, went to the store, worked out, did all the stuff, you know, household chores while this was running. And uh, that was a great improvement. At least I think so. You let me know what you think. But anyway, sorry, uh, like I said, I'm not the greatest video maker, but I make them to try to help other people. And uh, this is not quite done yet. Still got a few tweaks. 
but for the most part it does work so and i've done a quite a few videos and it doesn't affect the quality or anything you know it's the same as doing away and i still have the other one so it's just a different bat file i click on that opens up a different uh, radio file for the single one and then i have a separate one for batch but generally i'm batching so that's what it is i don't know how this is going to be affected by the new version so we'll just have to wait and see thank you for watching i appreciate it let me know what you think about it if this is something that you would use and uh what things have you tried don't forget to like and subscribe keep checking me out i'm gonna keep doing my best here and uh hopefully i can get some information that you can uh use and will use all right thanks have a great day peace